Hello and welcome back to our seller tips video. Last month I delivered to you a little bit of an episode just kind of starting through with the processes that your agent may come in and ask you information wise what we may need to know about the property, the title, the deed, the history, the mortgage balance, all of those things that you could expect for your agent to ask you while prepping to list your property. And so this time I want to provide you with some insight on some of the things that you should be asking your agent. Um, you know, we hear oftentimes that we have a lot of sellers who interview more than one agent for the job of selling their home, which I absolutely think that you should do. Make sure that you're getting the right fit for you, not only just in what is it that they're gonna do for your listing and your property, but making sure that you feel like you connect well with them. I mean, you are gonna be working with them really closely over the next 30 to 60 days, sometimes longer, depending on your buyer's offer and their contract with their closing time frame. So we certainly wanna make sure that you are aware that you're gonna really click well, but also, like I said, let's help you out with some of those questions that you should be asking your agent when they come to their listing appointment and sit down with you. So I would ask the agent, you know, kind of what's your specialty? Do you work in working with sellers most often? Do you work with buyers? Uh, what is your marketing plan? Did they show up with a true strategy in place? Did it look professional? Did it look well prepared? Did it look like they gave it some thought and how is it going to make your listing stand out above and beyond the others? Um, you know, inventory is really low right now. Sure, buyers are moving in on things. However, at the same time, that could drive up an opportunity for multiple offers on your home if it really was prepped right and if it was marketed appropriately then we got a lot of buyers in right so i would also follow up with that with a little bit of accountability ask your agent how you would know if they were actually doing the things that they told you that they were going to do so how is it that they are implementing their marketing plan and how will we know what type of updates are we going to do how are you planning on prospecting for buyers for my listing right if you ask that question and they're like um, well, we're gonna put it into the multiple listing service. Mm, I would encourage you to dig deeper, right? Challenge them that you feel like you deserve more. What does that look like in prepping the home? Is that including a staging um, consultation? Does that include great photography? What about drone footage? What about 3D tours? What about twilight? What about virtual staging? If we didn't wanna bring in furniture, uh, what do they know about your competition around you in the community, right? So making sure that your agent is really well versed in your property and what their plan is for you, right? With that being said, I would also encourage you to kind of listen to your gut and your instinct a little bit. If you feel like you hear something that you loved that they said, but you kind of get the sense that maybe they're not actually gonna follow through with that and they're only saying it to satisfy you, then I would encourage you to listen to that instinct. If you felt like you kind of were rushed and forced into making a decision, give that some consideration too, right? Because at the end of the day, this is often your biggest asset and you really wanna make sure that you're in partnership with somebody that allows you the opportunity to give it real thorough you know, consideration and making sure that they're in alignment with your goals and your timeline. At the end of the day, guys, it's not us making the move, right? It's not me selling my home, it's me assisting you and advising you in how to get yours sold. So it's very important to me that my timeline matches your timeline. I would encourage you to give that some consideration and some thought as you speak with, you know, agents when you're interviewing for that, for, um, you know, for that position and really for a partnership in this, right? Um, the other thing I really want to encourage is pay attention to if your agent actually walks through your property, both inside and outside. Did they point out the potential negatives that a buyer and their agent may see when they're walking through the home? Not to mention, did they ask questions about the potential positives that they would love to highlight for your marketing plan? Did they go take a look at your crawl space? I mean, we're not crawl space experts. However, if your agent is experienced enough in the industry, then they have seen time and time again different inspection reports, we can point out some of the things that we can expect 
to show up on an inspection. And depending on your price point, if your property qualifies for FHA or VA lending from the buyer's side, there are certainly things that we need to fit condition wise so that it doesn't flag the appraiser for an FHA or VA loan. This is something that your agent should be aware of. So pay attention to that. You know, if they just came in and immediately sat down and told you what they were gonna do and then they ask you to sign a listing agreement, you should expect that you're probably going to see some unforeseen things during your inspection and or the appraisal time frame while you're under contract. My job is to help give you as many expectations as you can have because I have found that reducing or setting expectations reduces frustrations. Um, and so I think that that's really important. Wouldn't you rather know these things in advance rather than just being blindsided by them during showings or like I said, once you're actually under contract and during your inspections where potentially the buyer may come in and ask for a ton of repair requests when we could have addressed them before listing, maybe priced appropriately for that or at least set that expectation with you that these things are probably gonna come up and a buyer's probably gonna request them and as long as you're set up in advance, maybe we go ahead and get a quote for that now so that way we can expect um, you know, how much more that might reduce the net in your pocket at closing. So thinking about that, think, you know, they should be looking at kind of your window frames, looking for that wood rot, your crawl space, uh, the siding, you know, if you've got hardy plank or if you've got old masonite siding, what that might look like, just any indications of water leaks. Did they look up at ceilings to make sure that we didn't see any water leaks? Did we ask questions about, you know, have you replaced anything? Are all of your appliances working? These are things that we're not asking out of judgment for the property or how you've maintained it. We're asking so that we can help set those expectations. So I would greatly encourage that you pay attention to that and really ask yourself, how much of a professional are they in this industry if they're not actually setting me up for the right expectations every step along the way. Um, it is always my plan that I show up to advise and assist you throughout your listing process um, if you are a seller client, of course, and as well, just setting up those expectations no matter which side of the transaction you're on. Um, I would rather put you in the shoes of what your buyer is looking at and thinking so that way you can start to plan to negotiate through your offer process a little bit easier and especially while you're under contract and you've already been packing and you're excited about making that next move, let's reduce those bumps in the road for you. Um, so I know that that was a really fast spitfire way of kind of presenting that to you guys, but as I mentioned, just a quick summary, last month we discussed what you could expect that your agent would come in and, and ask you about. And this week, we really wanna make sure that we are presenting what it is that you should really look out for um, that your agent is actually looking at while they're in your home and what questions you should ask them. You deserve the best. You are worthy of having an amazing agent working on your side. And of course, we would love that agent to be us and our team here at Orinda Home Group. Um, and if you've got any friends or family that's thinking about listing and selling their home and making a move, Certainly hope that you do think of us. Regardless though, we understand because as I mentioned, make sure that you're picking an agent that is the right fit for you. And if that's not us, that's okay. I just want you to be educated about what you could be asking and expecting during the listing process in the future. But as always, feel free to send us an email, you know, look us up on social media or reach out by phone. We'd love to have a voice to voice conversation with you and help answer any questions that you may have during your selling process, all right? So as always, have a fantastic rest of your day and we look forward to meeting with you again in the future.